Okay, so it's the end of January, so I'm going to start the mission inspiration for January. Um, hopefully, should do, I'll be done today because I've got everything ready and prepared. So let's go. So I'm going to work on a piece of scrapbooking paper. I wasn't really sure what to work on this year because I've not really got any space left in my squid and I've got a few pages to finish but not enough to do the full mission inspiration like I have before. I don't want to make a journal straight away. I think I'd rather work a loose leaf to begin with and then bind it all together later I think. I've got loads of scrapbook paper that I probably should use up, so that's what we're going to do. <clears throat> I'm using some scraps that I had on my desk of book text. That's the first step. I'm just going to go down the list for this one. I don't know if I'll do that for all the mission inspirations, but today the prompts work very nicely that way for me, so that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I've got a vague plan of what I'm doing in my head. It may change completely, who knows? Hmm. We shall see. Last little bit of this paper. Are we done, do we think? Is that enough? Uh, a little bit more. Let's just use up all of this. Right half. Stick that bit down there. <clears throat> I really like to use a lot of stuff up this year. Um, doing Life Book as well, um, which is run by Tamara Laporte. Um, that's teaching me a lot of things so far. It's, it felt a bit tense to begin with, but <clears throat> now that it's calmed down a little bit, it's a lot better. Okay, so that's that, and then I'm going to grab... Sorry, my camera seems to be a bit of a weird angle today. I'm not quite sure why it's so far over, but we're just going to go with it. So Brea Gesso, that's the next step to add white gesso. I'm just going to bring it all over. Yep. All that. I really need to go through that and get rid of some stuff. <laughs> <clears throat> I've just spotted this uh, washi tape. I think I'm going to add some of that. Just feel like it. Why not? <clears throat> Use up the washi tape because we all know we've got tons of it. Yes, everybody has tons and tons and tons. There we are. Lovely. Right, <clears throat> just so. Big blob of gesso. Probably way too much. Dry, 
And then we move on to the third step, which is stamping. Okay, I think we're ready to do the stamping. So we've got this music stamp from Tim Holt Stamp. Right piece of hey, hey, okay, yeah. So, I'm using music text because one of the words for inspiration is rhythm. I didn't know what else to do with it, so I thought, yeah, rhythm music that'll do. So, I'm gonna just do a bit of stamping. Okay. Let's pop that back. That's that one. Next, we're going to use a image, which is going to be a butterfly. I bought these a while ago, but I haven't used them yet. So, I'm going to use one of these. Find out which size we want. Fairly big one, I would say. I don't think we want. Um, that's a bit too big. I think. Popping them everywhere now. Oh, sorry. So that one that big. We don't want. Mm, I like the size. Maybe not. What about this one? Yes. <laughs> oh, now I may have to change my colour choice for my paints because it's got a bit of orange there, which may be nice to pick out. A gel medium. Uh, okay, pick the one that's got white gesso on it. Uh, this one's okay. Although it needs a clean. Ugh. Yeah. It's one of those days today. I think it's going wrong. Do we want it dead central? Do we want it? Let's just take a minute to have a look at this. Hmm. There? I think there. I think there. Probably glue it and then stick it in a completely different place. Let's move that out. Yeah, so gel medium because it's quite thick. Cardboard. Butterfly. We could probably try if you wanted it thinner to peel the top 
play a rough foot. I don't need it. You know, that's fine. Uh, okay. Let's use. Card. <laughs> right. <clears throat> Lovely. And then I believe we need drips and splatters, so I'm going to go, I'm going to stick with my original, ooh, do I, do I change? Because we're going to change the other colour, maybe we change this colour too, yes, see I was going to go with sort of pinky colours, because I thought it would go well with the beige, but because of the orange, I'm going to go orange. And uh, I'm going to go neon for the splatters. And we need a lip pad. go with that one. Very vibrant. We like. I prefer the pink in the Dealer Brownie, but the, this is just a cheaper craft brand. La 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 la. Brushy brush brush. I'll put my hand in gesso. Splatter, but we'll give it a go. Put that on there a sec. A bit more water. Shall dig out another colour for adding marks with the fingers. Okay, so we've got uh, apricot blush uh, by Indigo Blue. Let's try that. It might be a bit pinky. Oh, I forgot. Need to shake it. Shake it. Shake it. <coughs> Fingers. 
Mm, so tough. One of the other words for inspiration is heart. So I'm gonna make little hearts. Why not? <coughs> there we go. <laughs> and next thing is to add a quote. So we've got torn book text, gesso, stamping, focal image, splashes, marks with a finger, quote, doodle, I believe. My battery's blinking at me so I'm hoping. I'm not sure if this is going to... Uh, I stick it well. Yeah. And then let's have a bit of pen white crown there. Plant your own garden of happiness. Another one of the words is grow. So growing, planting, garden. Yeah, no. <coughs> Doodle border. I think we'll probably just do similar to what we've done there. We'll just do a squibbly. Not really a doodler. quickly because I'm actually just hooked up to a uh, a power bank right now. I'm going to plug it into the wall once I've just finished this little tiny clip. So that's a finished image. I'm going to date it. So Today's 28th of the 1st, 23. So I think I'm going to use like an accordion bind on this. Maybe. Um, my page is 7 by 7 I don't know if I mention that but yeah so that's the start of the year for mission inspiration uh hopefully i'll get this edited monday so that you can see it i'm sorry it's taken me so long but yeah i hope you enjoyed it um very simple quick page uh, i'm not sure where i put my phone to check boxes <laughs> Let's just check we've got everything, so torn book text, layer of gesso, stamping, focal image, splatters, marks with fingers, add quote, phrase or title, and doodle around the edges. So yes, we're all done, just got to wait for that to dry, pop it in a folder so I don't lose it, and then we're all done. So yes, thank you for watching, I hope to see you again soon. Um, 